Hey guys, um, I hope you can hear me. My camera again is positioned on my desk, which is right behind a road. As you probably guessed from the title today, I'm going to be telling you a story about when I found a lump in my boob. So I don't know if you've seen, but Copperfield have been doing a lot of campaigns with YouTubers at the moment, and they are called Boob Ninjas. And essentially what their job is, is they want to raise awareness and tell people to check their boobs. I follow um, a couple of them on social media. I've done it previously a little bit, but never like properly. But before I kind of had no idea what I was looking for or how to properly check my boobs. So around December, I was just in bed and I decided just kind of have a feel round because it is so important to understand your body and to take care of it and part of that is checking it. I probably wasn't doing this properly but I was just kind of putting this bit of my hand onto my boob and kind of just rolling it around and if you check regularly it becomes easier because you know what your normal boob feels like. If you don't know what it feels like it could be anything because everything's unusual to you but when I was feeling around I definitely felt something in my boob and I kind of just panicked and I think I did what most people would do and I just put it to the back of my mind. It's not uncommon in our family and I couldn't quite bear to think of the outcome so I, I literally just pushed it back and didn't think about it again. About a month later I think I, I checked again just because it kind of came to the front of my mind. I wanted to see if it was still there, if it was breast tissue, if it was something different. That's when I felt it more prominently. A very definite hard ball that moved around and it didn't necessarily hurt only when I'd been prodding it a long time and kind of inspecting it that it started to hurt but it didn't hurt itself I didn't go to check it because it hurt it was fine just chilling at this point I called in my mum for a second opinion she felt where I told her the lump was and she she felt it as well she felt something I did call the doctor kind of as soon as I could after that point. After a month of it getting more prominent, I kind of thought, okay, I need to go get this checked out. So I went to the doctor, um, I basically explained what I'd felt. She asked a few questions about how I checked it, how it felt to me, and then she checked herself. And she said there was definitely something there, but there wasn't any concerning signs to go along with it. I'll put a chart just here of certain signs that you need to look out for for breast cancer but I had none of those signs apart from having the lump so I got referred to the hospital to have a biopsy. I was told that these appointments usually take months to process. I think I was in within a week and a half because I was 18 at the time and Although it's very unusual for someone of my age to get breast cancer, it's still totally possible and it needs to be considered especially because of my family history. I went into hospital, I had the consultant check my boob and then she kind of drew a circle around where the lump was and then I went up to have an ultrasound. In the ultrasound they basically found that I didn't just have one lump, I had two and possibly more. It was my right boob they were looking at because that's where the lump was. During the ultrasound um, the doctor again asked me what it felt like to me and I was like oh it, it just it just feels like you know the size of a marble and he was like no no it's huge and I was like oh uh okay and he was like we need to take it out and I was like oh okay and I'm terrified of anything like surgical I'm terrified of the idea of having an operation and I had never had an operation at this point. I was so scared when he literally just turned to me and was like, yeah, we need to take it out. And then he was like, we need to do a biopsy then. I knew going into the day that I had to have a biopsy, but I was told by the nurse when I was arrived that I was just having an ultrasound. She said that was all that was happening. So I'd kind of relaxed myself. I was like, okay, it's fine. It's just an ultrasound, don't need to worry. So pretty quickly after he'd done my ultrasound he starts getting his gloves on has a needle in his hand and just kind of sticks it in and I was like right I closed my eyes through it <laughs> he said to me be prepared for what sounds like a staple gun which isn't comforting at all 
but it quite literally sounded like a staple gun so what it felt like because obviously I had the local anesthetic it felt like something was being pushed in at the same time it made that click so then after that they just kind of wiped away my blood wrapped up my boob they didn't quite tell me how painful it would be for a week after I had quite a big scar quite a lot can make your boobs move like it's gravity so sleeping on your side can do that going up and down stairs was incredibly painful and I couldn't like run I couldn't quite move my arms too much because that moved my boobs so I kind of lived in sports bras then I can't remember how long after that it was pretty quick I went back to the hospital to see the consultant and she gave me the results of the biopsy. So I was sat waiting and as soon as she walked in the room she said it's nothing to worry about all it is is a, just gonna get the name, fibrodenoma? Fi fibrodenoma? Fib basically it's a non-cancerous tumour. So she basically then gave me the option. She said when it gets to a certain size they have to remove it but mine was just under so she said it will continue to grow and considering I'm going to university in September it was basically you either have the operation now or you hold back it will grow and you'll need to have it in the next three years. I chose while I'm on my gap year to have the operation now. This was March and my operation was booked in for May the 9th. I was the first one in the morning because she was like it's such a quick easy procedure. So on the day of my operation my consultant comes in and she's actually the one who performed my surgery but she came in to see me when I was in my little hospital gown, my little hospital socks. She asked me where I thought it was and essentially she couldn't find it on the morning of my operation. So, so I ended up being pushed back so that I could have another ultrasound. So a few hours later I had my next ultrasound and again they told me it was just an ultrasound and the doctor starts putting on his gloves and I was like what's happening? And they were like oh we're just gonna put a wire in into the into the tumour so the doctor can clearly see in the operation. They literally put a wire in my boob. I had a little meltdown had a little cry after, was was a bit shaken, but then I went back onto my ward, watched some daytime TV <laughs> and waited for my operation. So when I got called to go down to theatre, um, I was actually a lot calmer than I thought I would. Like I said before, operations are like one of my biggest fears and I'd never had one before. But I told the anaesthetist previously that I had anxiety and I was really nervous about it. So it was really nice of him, he managed to get um, the child child gel so you know they put the thing in your hand so they can put the drugs in he got the numbing gel for me so I didn't feel the needle going in and it literally made things so much easier because I felt nothing so that when I went down I already had it in my hand um I went downstairs and I was just talking to them the team started like coming into the to the room where they put you to sleep they were all just chatting it was all so lovely they calmed me right down and then he was like oh, we'll be fine soon because we'll just put you to sleep. And I was like, yeah, okay. So then he put the gel in my hand, he put the thing over my face and he was like, how do you feel? And the last thing I remember is I was just like, feel weird as the room was starting to like slightly spin above me and then I just fell asleep. And then I woke up in recovery, yay. So again, the first thing I remember when I woke up was just coughing and then the nurse beside me being like, that's totally normal don't worry and then she just gave me some water that I could sip and I kind of woke up pretty quickly. I didn't really feel dizzy, I didn't feel confused, I didn't feel sick, I felt pretty good. I was in a bit of pain, um, they put a paracetamol drip into my hand and that calmed down pretty quickly and then I asked the doctor because my consultant had previously told me that if it was possible and if it was easy they were just going to take out both lumps although the second one was a lot smaller and they didn't need to it could quite easily grow and then I'd have to have another operation so they just thought if they could they'd try and take both out so I asked after and the nurse said that yes they had removed both and then I went home. The recovery process was basically the same as my biopsy just a lot more intense and a lot longer and um, I had a lot of paracetamol so I wasn't actually in too much pain it was just the inconvenience of like not being able to do things, struggling to put on clothes, obviously living in sports bras and that that can get quite 
restrictive on your chest after a while but other than that it was absolutely fine and then I went back for a post-op assessment and basically they had the final results because after the operation they just sent them off for final testing and she was like yeah it was nothing so absolutely fine but she said if the same thing happens that I just need to come back same process go through the doctor and then come back basically the main reason I wanted to make this video is because it was something I didn't know about before. As soon as I found my lamp I kind of assumed that it was breast cancer because I didn't know that there was anything else. Obviously I knew that there are tumours that can be non-cancerous but I didn't think it was that common. The type of tumour I had is incredibly common with teenage girls and people don't really tell you that that it is common. Most people have small ones, I happen to have like a huge one that needed to be removed, but most people do have small ones. That's why it is so important to check and if you're ever worried just go to the doctor because it's not as scary as you might originally think and even if it is scary it's so much better to go and get the results then leave it later and it could be worse or harder to treat. I hope I haven't left anything out of this video if you've got any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and I will try to add all the information I can into the description all of Copperfield's pages and graphs I will put there as well. Thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this style of video. Bye!